What's going on everyone, Josh here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create the coffee squeeze effect. This little magic trick is so much fun to edit, and I'm gonna show you exactly what needs to be done in order to pull this off. First things first, how to shoot it. Well, you are going to have to shoot a clean plate. In a lot of my tutorials, I tell you how important it is to shoot a clean plate. It's basically an empty background with no moving subjects. Make sure you place all the objects that you're going to need in the background before you actually start shooting this magic trick. Make sure the cup stays in the same place throughout the whole entire shooting process. If there's any slight movement in any of the objects, it's just not gonna look good, it's not gonna look consistent, and there's gonna be weird looking jump cuts. Now, take some coffee grounds or anything similar and fake the effect, fake your reaction. Pretend like you're actually seeing coffee being squeezed out of your hand. This is really what's gonna sell the effect. Now, without moving any object in the shot, go ahead and pour coffee nearly the same distance as your hands were away from the cup. Try not to cast any abnormal shadows because this will be difficult to get rid of in editing. Again, this is why a clean plate is helpful because it can get rid of a lot of inconsistencies in the shot. Go ahead and check out the link down below and download Filmora now. Here we are in Filmora. I'm gonna drag and drop my footage. Again, don't forget the clean plate. That's gonna be very important. So I'm gonna drag and drop the clean plate. The clean plate is actually gonna be on the bottom here. This is our base frame. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a freeze frame by going to tools and then add freeze frame. And then we're just gonna use this bar here and stretch it out to as long as we want. We can trim it, we can cut it, we can do whatever we want. This is basically a still image now. Now I'm going to get my main clip ready. Here it is, I'm pouring the coffee. I'm just gonna time everything right. Great, my facial expressions are pretty good with this one. <laughs> so my reaction shot is basically done. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that. And then I always try to film these effects within one shot without cutting the camera. Whenever you press that stop, or a start recording button on your camera, it slightly moves it and that can cause some problems in editing because the frame will slightly change. So just keep rolling the camera if possible. Now we're gonna go to the coffee pouring shot and then I'm gonna place this shot on top and I'm going to go and add a mask. Now before I do that, I wanna time this perfectly right when I start putting my hands together. Next, I'm gonna go to the mask option. I'm gonna double click on the coffee clip then I'm gonna to go to mask, I'm gonna to go to circle, and I'm going to just place the mask over the pore. I'm gonna readjust the size of the mask. Look at that, that looks so real, doesn't it? And now we are going to keyframe the position of the mask, because if you notice, I can't stand perfectly still with my hands. I'm gonna have some sort of slight movement with my hands. So we're gonna add some keyframes and animate the mask to follow my hand movements. This takes a little bit of time, but once you get used to it, this shouldn't take any more than about five minutes to do. So I'm gonna add a first keyframe right here on the mask, and each time we move the mask, a keyframe will be generated. Now be careful when adjusting the mask, because if you move it too high or over too far to the left or to the right, you're gonna start seeing the coffee jug and then the effect will be ruined. So try to keep a tight mask. You can always adjust the size and make it tighter and that will overall sell the effect more. And when you're done masking, add some sound effects, maybe some color grading and boom, you have an awesome effect squeezing coffee grounds into actual coffee. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe with those notifications turned on and I'll see you in another video. Peace.